April Tracher sweater in Paris. Today it's gonna fly up north to Helsinki. You don't have to wear a mask now if you're vaccinated at the airport, even inside the airport here in Paris. I just got on board this uh, Finnair A320 to Helsinki and uh, I think we need to de-icing because it's snow in April, sideways blowing, I can't believe it in Paris. Hopefully Helsinki is better weather. And um, I think you will probably know the reason I'm going to Helsinki, right? I'll be flying the new Finnair business class on the A350 back to London tomorrow. Between now with the de-icing of, uh, of the wings and stabilizer, this will take a few minutes. industrial action as well and uh, the consolation prize is now we have a hot lunch uh, you know I don't like the European business class because it's the same as economy seating but I do like the uh, culinary Landed and uh, just picked up by Elias and his friend John here in that Volvo behind us. And now we're going on to the snow, do some plane spotting. Yeah. Why Finnish people like Volvo? Very reliable and uh, Nordic. That's Nordic. We're in the position for plane spotting. Just this is pretty cool side by the runway. Now there's some free near. 320, 321. I'm excited for this because I don't see them, but the local spotter like Elias must get bored, super bored with this kind of traffic. Yeah, for me it's just every day. Yeah, we every hope to day. see the 350 later on. That's how Finnish spotters spotting from the tree. at Helsinki Airport. Today flying on the new A350 cabin to London. Now going into the Finnair Lounge, have a quick breakfast. is very very quiet and uh, had a little quick breakfast now going out to see the plane so we had a little delay for this morning um, hopefully the efficiency will pick up the gate area is also a little bit crowded but excited to try out the Finnair new product today First impression of the seats, very strange actually. It's um, very wide, but the legroom is very limited. It's sitting very upright, and then, um, you know, there's feels like you know just a shell here. If you have any hand luggage, you can just stow it underneath the seat. Oh, you I mean, the store your luggage yeah, in underneath. here underneath. Yeah. How do you do? How do? You, okay, just oh, yeah. underneath here. 
was a very early flight, but a lot of passengers landed from Thailand, Singapore, Australia, and uh, connecting onto this flight. That's why they're able to run a very big airplane, A350. Okay. No name. Good morning, my name is Matti. I'm the captain on this flight uh, to London Heathrow this morning. We'll be, be flying uh, today at flight level uh, 430, 43,000 feet at the cruising speed of 0.85 Mach. The flight time will be uh, shorter than normally on the narrow bodies uh, with this higher speed. So we're going to fly to London Heathrow in uh, 2 hours and 22 minutes. It's 43,000 the highest level you can go on the A350. Yeah, that's true. So uh, as a lightweight, we are able to uh, immediately climb up the maximum uh, cruise level. Uh, one positive thing I have to say about the seats is really private. You have your cocoon here and uh, I can't see my neighbor sitting across the aisle, honestly. So here you can find the compartment for your things, for water bottle, for anything else during the flight. Actually, oh, this was, this is storage. This is actually not storage, but you can Yeah, I, I struggled because I didn't know the button, how to, how to right. make the bed. Yeah, this should be up like this and then we start operating this one upwards. Okay. You want me to, so yeah. just uh, lift your feet. Okay. And... Oh, this comes up. Yeah, that comes yes. up there. And that's it. Ah, it doesn't go flat. Because the seat back I mean, uh, this, this uh, seat back doesn't require. Yeah. Okay, oh, I have the leg rest split, so I just need yes. to slide in. Yeah. Ah. And then you have these two pillows to make yourself comfortable. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Very simple, actually. Yeah, I'm a bit embarrassed to say I couldn't figure out how to recline the seat, so I called the flight attendant over, and it turned out uh, the seat back doesn't recline. It's only the uh, leg rest come up, and then you just slide inside the pod, and uh, it goes fully flat. It's very long. I'm six foot one, and I would say six foot four, you have no problem, and your feet doesn't touch the wall. The only thing with this kind of seat is, is, is is your feet go inside the box and then when you turn toss around um, you know uh, the box you know might hit your leg and that's the only uh, downside I felt Uh, they're busy serving meals from the front. I came down to check out premium economy and economy. Uh, it seems like they're giving free upgrade for people sitting premium economy and people get to choose the seats on the seat map. Um, best seats in the economy is row 31. You know, bulkhead seats, really. Lots and lots of leg room. We have a ham and cheese omelette today. Only one choice? 
Okay. Here you are. Okay. And now the tray looks better. Mm. Have you anything else? No, I'm good, thank you. Enjoy your meal. This is blueberry juice. Blueberry juice. Yes. Why Finnish people like blueberry juice? I heard this is famous, right? Yes. We have a lot of uh, blueberries in the forest. You do have a lot of blueberries. Yeah, yes. Just finished my food, and I'm glad to say, I think this is the most comfortable position. It's in a cradle and enjoying entertainment in your own cocoon. So I met a fellow Australian. What's your name? Dennis. Dennis. Yeah, so first time flying this seat, I bet. It is. This layout um, feels comfortable, but I haven't had a chance to fully explore um, uh, the, the, the whole gamut of what it will do. Lovely big screen. I like that. Um, it, but it feels good and comfortable. I think it's better than the uh, former A350 layout. Perhaps the seating, I like the seat movement in the A350, the former one. I think that's, uh, I like the way that seat moves. You've got to go and try that, that toilet because it's got the best view out the window that I've ever seen. So that sounds like the best seat. It's in the toilet. I'm going to try out. <laughs> well, the window, uh, I've not seen a better, uh, a better view out of, out of toilet. In fact, I'd quite happily sit on the toilet seat, look out the window for the rest of the trip. We were looking at this mirror, this decoration. Yeah, yeah. it's brilliant. Yeah. How's that going to be? I can see young people would love this new layout because that's the way they, they live, that they lounge and a lot of them can sit cross-legged. I haven't got a hope. I heard the seat is very light because of, there is no electric mechanism. You have to slide yourself, slide your bodies, right? I feel there is some pros and cons, um, but it's very subjective, right? Everyone have their own preference of business class seats. Some people like open style, some people like cocoon style. I feel that there is a lot of Nordic touch. The wood on the table, you know, the uh, blue cocoon here. Um, and maybe this is also noise cancelling. This is really done right. There's a very calm feeling on board on this flight and very low noise as well on the A350. Now, in the full sleep mode, to be fair, this was a very short flight. I didn't really try out that much. I only tried a 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I suspect I have to go for a longer flight to try out. In May, they're gonna go to Dallas, Singapore, and some other routes. And uh, that's where the time to give a try to see if you can sleep well for extended hours.